Wir haben nichts. For 15 years, I have had recurring, a, a recurring dream. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. But now I know it wasn't a dream. Yanni Yugi wasn't the killer. I mean, in the incident where your father died. Ja gut, er hat ja auch selber gesagt, dass er, unschuld, dass er tatsächlich unschuldig war. Ja, genau. Also von Anfang an. From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer... The criminal in the DL6 incident. It was me. Your Honor, I confess my guilt. I am guilty for DL6, the statue of limitations in which ends today. The culprit is me. Order. This is certainly unexpected. The defendant declared innocent is confessing to a different crime. A crime for which the statue of limitations runs out today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. Bah. It's obvious. We hold a trial. Right here. Right now. We tried this man for his crime of, four, of 15 years ago. Weil er die ganzen fucking evidence hat. I think I would like to take a five minute recess. During this time I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Court is adjourned. Wird 100% durchgehen, ja. Wenn es heute abläuft, definitiv. I'm sorry, right? I've just wasted all of your effort. Mr. Atchworth, I just don't believe it, sir. I mean, you kill your dad. I didn't want to believe it myself, detective, but it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. This is crazy. Just crazy. Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh. I was just reading through the court record once more. I'm getting my case ready. Your case for what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. What are you talking about, pal? You just admitted to, admitted to it. He confessed that he did it in court. I'm sorry, Edgeworth, but I, but I don't believe your nightmare. What? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. Right. Ja, genau das ist es. Wie schon von Karma eben gesagt hat, the only thing in this court is... Uh, that, that we need in this court is evidence. Und das ist kein Evidence, definitiv nicht. Now then, I would like to resume our trial. Judge. Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. Then, though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. I see. Does the defense have any objections? Double case. No, Your Honor. Von Karma. You knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? And er trotzdem übrigens nichts daran, dass er verloren hat. Very well. Und er wird zweimal verlieren jetzt. Zweimal an einem Tag, boy. 15 Jahre? Wie lange war, wie lange war er umgeschlagen? 15 Jahre oder so? Kein Problem. Zwei Losses in einem Tag. Cut this. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Irgendwas mit der Kugel auf jeden Fall. Irgendwas mit der Kugel. Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth, I am a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth. 15 years ago, you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. That will be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Please, please. Uh... Okay, eine Sache auf jeden Fall. The weapon... Nee, das kann gar nicht sein. The weapon was fired twice. Fällt mir gerade ein. Aber in dem Bild haben wir nur einen Schuss letzten Endes. Na, okay, es könnten zwei Schüsse sein. Einer in dem Fall durch die Scheibe und einer... Na, ja. wir wissen, 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 wissen nicht, wo er stand und ob die Kugel das Ganze eben penetrieren konnte. Also einmal durch den Körper, durch die Glasscheibe durch vom Fahrstuhl. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck... Trapping us in the elevator. 
Yep. My father and Mr. Yugi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yugi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a... Single gunshot? It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Ich weiß schon direkt, wo ich ihn pressen muss. Hm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream. We were stru stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out and I lost my memory of the events. Bah. The same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Moment. Let's see if we can see what happened with the two shots. I think it's also in the DL6 case rec record. Moment. Um... Um, murder weapon was fired twice. Victim data. Alles klar. Okay, one more again. Moment. Uh, stop fighting. Bam! The gun fired once. Yes, I think. After I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then, they have echoed in my head every day. That gunshot and that horrible scream. The scream. Ähm, mein Freund, hier stimmt was nicht. Bam! Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? Yes, I'm sure of that. I heard the shot and then the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. Wrong. No, your honor, unfortunately you don't. Look at this file one more time. This plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy dragging out that file, don't you? I don't accept this evidence. Unless you can tell us on which page it's on. Which page contradicts Miles Edgeworth's testimony? Let's look at Um, The murder weapon was fired twice. Victim data. Gotcha. Bam. Look at the victim data in this file. It says it quite plainly. The murder weapon was fired twice. Exact. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot, yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? Yep. <clears throat> hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Ich glaube, ich weiß langsam auch schon wer. Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. <laughs> it might have been fired the day before the incident. There is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. What? Mm, I see, I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shot wa shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the, that the other shot fired had something to do with the case? Also, sind Q gedrückt. Ich denk schon, wenn man, wenn man, wie gesagt, wir wissen nicht, wo er zu dem Zeitpunkt stand. Und ob die Kugel letzten Endes... Vielleicht können wir es mit der Kugel beweisen, dass die Kugel genug Durchschlagkraft hat, um durch Körper sowie durch Glas eben durchzudringen. Wie gesagt, die Frage ist eben, wenn er nicht da stand, dann sind das zwei unterschiedliche Schüsse. Das kann sein, dass der Schuss in... Das kann eben auch sein, dass der Schuss in der... der ja, natürlich. Ähm, dass der Schuss von der Pistole von Edgeworth... In dem Fall, weil er wurde ja aus Versehen ausgelöst anscheinend, dass der durch die Scheibe ging und dann, wer auch immer der Mörder war letzten Endes, in den Fahrstuhl vielleicht reingegangen ist, nachdem der Fahrstuhl wieder ging und ihn dann eben letzten Endes erschossen hat oder irgendwie so. Wir wissen ja, es wird ja auch nicht gesagt, wo der fucking Elevator in dem Fall angehalten hat. War, kam das Erdbeben? Erdbeben, was geht denn sofort, als die Türen geschlossen waren oder war da irgendwie Zement dazwischen? Wisst ihr, was ich meine? Das wurde ja auch nicht ganz geklärt. Aber okay, erstmal, ob wir beweisen können, dass es was mit dem Case zu tun hat. Ähm, ich denke schon. Ich denke, das Foto... Ja, ja, ich denke schon. Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. 
What? Impossible. Now, now, Mr. Von Karma, save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show us your proof. Do you have evidence that the second firing of the pistol related is related to this incident? Um... Look at this photograph. I wasn't psyching, no? This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. I can see the victim la laying there is there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Where? Your Honor, please. Please get a clue. <laughs> I don't think so. Show the judge the contradiction in the photo. Boom. Whoops. Boom. As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor, Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the, pist from the pistol, yet there is also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, someone other than Edgeworth fired that second shot. Stimmt, und das ist eine Pistole, deswegen gehe ich... Und das ist keine Diegel, von daher gehe ich, geh ich mal davon aus, dass es nicht sowohl durch Körper als auch durch Glas gleichzeitig gehen kann. Oder durch Glas und Körper gleichzeitig, kann ich mir schlecht vorstellen. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart und mehrere werden gerade Richtung von Karma geschossen übrigens. The other hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wright, but who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. Mm hmm I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies get out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary. That's on page one. Look what is written there. Not a single, single clue was found on the scene. Yeah. If the pistol had indeed been fired two times, then the other bullet would have been discovered by the scene. He does have a point. That second bullet has never been found. Kann das sein, dass es die ist, die wir jetzt haben? Mein Freund? Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet had, that claimed that Gregory Edgeworth's life was... The one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth. It was undoubtedly something else that made that bullet hole in the in the door. Are you sure about that? Abonne, ihr stand ja nur da. Oder? Taken from Granada still bears clear ballistic markings. Ah, vielleicht können wir das jetzt hier damit beweisen. Irgendwie. Irgendwie kann... Äh, irgend, irgendwas... Irgend, irgendwie, ja. Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly, that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked the second bullet. I think so. so all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Yeah. How did this happen? I don't believe that he that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been wrong about this whole incident? What are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising an objection? I'm sorry, Maya. What? It looks like I was wrong. Nick? If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for nothing. No. But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get Edgeworth declared innocent. I'm sorry, it's just when I saw the photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person, someone else who fired the killing shot. But now, I was wrong to think of... I, w I was wrong to think it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Nick. But it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of crime. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Precisely. I would like to ask one thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Yes, your honor. Do you have any objections? No, no, I do not. So you killed your father, though that was not your intention. Yes, I did. Oh no, he's accepted the guilt. Very well. 
The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today, right here. Right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's just like my first day in court. There are so many things I know I should be saying, but my mind's gone blank. I can't find the words. Mr. Wright. Natürlich. Your Honor. Your Honor, I object. <laughs> Mr. Wright, on the on what grounds do you object, hmm? Ugh. Nick? I don't know, his case is perfect. No, no. Yeah. It must exist. The second bullet. What? What did you just, just say? Nothing? The second bullet must exist. But where? Someone to- Yeah, natürlich! Fucking... It seems waiting is not going to produce us any answers from Mr. Wright. Wait, your honor. Hmm? Ah... Uh, the second bullet. It, uh, it existed. What? But we've just heard proof that it did not exist. I realize that, your honor. I'm really grasping here. <laughs> it's just... Someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what's happened. But who? The murderer. The murderer. Then tell us just who is this murderer. Mm, I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet, but why? Huh. First of all, how would they have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? Had to find it, yeah? Of course there was a need. That's why they took it. Bah, what possible reason could they have had? Well, the reason the murderer took the bullet away from the scene with them is... Murderer was cautious. The bullet would be proof. The bullet would be proof, yeah. Maybe they thought that the bullet would be used as proof? Proof. It was a special bullet, so they took it with them. If that was the case, then they should have taken the bullet from Gre from inside Gregory as well. Es wurde eine andere Waffe benutzt. Huh? Why would they only take one of the shot- one of the two shots fired? Alright! Mr. Wright, have you really thought this through? Yes! I'm going to have to penalize you! Nein! Es wurde eine andere Waffe benutzt? Mann! This isn't going so well. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? Didn't need it? Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for the stray bullet? I haven't got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Um... Bah. The murderer had no reason to take that bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Ah. Uh, had to take it. Had to take it. The murderer. What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But uh, the murderer had to take the bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright. What do you mean? Well, for instance, for instance, what? Uh, maybe the bullet hit the murderer? The bullet hit the murderer. Just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could por perform surgery right there. You know? <laughs> Wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head, but what if that's really what happened? Let me get this straight. So at the time of the murderer, murder, the murderer themselves was shot, and they left with the second bullet still inside of them, thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime. Ah, das heißt, er hat sich in dem Fall, oder er wollte sich verteidigen, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Oder nee, Ma andersrum, Miles Edgeworth wurde zuerst erschossen, dann ist der Killer gegangen und Miles Edgeworth hat auf den Killer geschossen. Durch die Tür. So could this gewesen sein. Yes, I guess that's how it would work, yes. But there's a problem with that. The other two people rescued from that elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi, were both unharmed. So that would mean the murder came from outside, yes. Wo ist der Fahrstuhl stecken geblieben? Ich frag's nochmal. Auf einem Stockwerk oder zwischen Stockwerken? The two men fight inside the elevator. 
Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharges and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. Mm -hmm. The boy loses consciousness. Then the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the man inside. Yep. Hmm. Obwohl, nee, stimmt. Jetzt, wo ich gerade darüber nachdenke, die, wenn, ich, wenn ich sage, dass die Mordwaffe von jemand anderem war, macht das keinen Sinn, dass sie zweimal geschossen wurde. Fällt mir jetzt gerade erst auf. Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, yet I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. What are you saying? Deny it, deny it. No one involved with the incident was wounded. There was no murderer. Hmm. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick. Ah. I just thought of something really crazy. Crazy. Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was the first and the last vacation he's taking in his many years of prosecuting. Gotcha. What if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of shock, but took it because he was injured? Which would mean... It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. Oh yes, he was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. It was Von Karma. Oh man. Something wrong, Mr. Wright. You seem dazed. No, Your Honor. Well, you have indicated the possibility that the murderer came from outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Allerdings. Uh-oh. Should I come out and say it now? Wir haben nicht wirklich Beweise, ist das Problem. Deswegen würde ich mal sagen, wir warten noch ein bisschen. Wait, I don't have enough proof yet. This is my trump card. I'd better save it for the right time. Mr. Wright, something to matter. I'm fine, Your Honor. Wir wiegen ihn erstmal ein bisschen im Sicheren. Shall we carry on with the trial then? That said, we have no further to go. All that is left is the finish. In other words, the verdict. <coughs> What? Not yet. Think, Mr. Wright. You have said that someone from the from the outside was the murderer. Yet you cannot suggest anyone as a possible suspect, which means your own your conjecture is worthless and will be rejected, of course. Hmm. Now's not the time to be holding on to that trump card. The trial's almost over. All right, I may not know what I'm doing, but here goes. Verdammt. Stimmt, hat er recht. Your Honor, there is a suspect, one lone suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? Fa- Ugh. My hands are shaking. Fa- what? Von Karma! Von Karma! Na? 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 Von Karma? Keine Reaktion, huh? You mean THE Von Karma, the prosecutor. Those one standing right over there. Bah. You don't object? Hmm. I see no need. Why- Honor this ridiculous outburst with my objection. Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet, you pride yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a long vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident. Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed surgery, no? Where did I go under the knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated on, on me. Have him testify. Nick, let's find out who his doctor is. <laughs> It's no use. Edgeworth! I know Von Karma perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. He probably didn't undergo surgery. That would leave a doctor as a witness. Nobody's that perfect. So, so what, Nick? Did Von Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane. No, he couldn't have. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself. Wait... What does that mean? That bullet has to be somewhere, but where? Ah, uh, er hat sie immer noch in sich wahrscheinlich, huh? Well, Mr. Wright, can you produce evidence to prove that I was shot? Mm. 
kann man das beweisen? Ich könnte es hier mit versuchen. Ob es funktioniert, ist eine andere Sache. Alright, von Karma, I'll prove it. And I'll even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. What? The evidence that proves Son Karma was shot is... What exactly is that? Ah, sorry. Judge, if you would. Right, uh, penalty. I'm really not sure how I managed to make it this far. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please reconsider your evidence. Ah... <sighs> Ähm... Um, okay, nicht das. Haben wir hier noch was drin? No clues found on the scene. Trapped in elevator returning from a lost trial with the sun. H9, one bullet, murder weapon was fired twice. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Yes, von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery, leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it it, it unlikely that von Karma performed surgery on himself. You don't mean I do. 50 cent. There is the possibility that the bullet is still inside von Karma. Yep. Is that even possible for all these years? Well, there is one way to find out. <laughs> We could use this metal detector. Well, von Karma, I'm going to run this over you and you and see what I've, what we find. <laughs> I refuse. You refuse, but refusing this means. You acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you. <laughs> Wenn wir den Metal Detector nicht hätten, ey. Oh, weia. Order. Your Honor, the defense requests that we are, that we but that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Was wäre hier passiert, wenn wir, wenn wir den Metal Detector allerdings nicht hätten? Hm. Judge, I call for a suspension on this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. Ja, sicher, sicher doch. The statute of limitations runs out on this case today. If what you said, we had to end it right here, right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enough. I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. Dürfen wir es selber machen? Nein, anscheinend nicht. Okay. <laughs> it reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet. Yep. Mr. Von Karma. You. It was you. <laughs> I was afraid this would happen. And so I remained silent. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. But, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove. I have no obligation to prove anything. It is Mr. Wright who, mu who must prove something here. Not I. Mr. Wright, well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet is in... in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? Of course he can't. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. Are you sure about that? That's because you took it out from of the records room yesterday. Yeah, I mean, with no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. Hmm. Oh, my friend. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? You were close. One day away from freedom. But you see, I have proof. What? Who would have thought you would dig your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. Mm -hmm. And here's my final proof. Bam. That's a bullet. Where did you get that? 
<laughs> this is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. Mm -hmm. The bullet is preserved quite nicely with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings. Yup, yup, yup. Was war ja auch von Anfang an übrigens, oder was Maya von Anfang an äh, durch Mr. von Karma gelernt hat. You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Yup. Genau. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with, with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the mark markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. Yup. Yup. We have two bullets in our, in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. We could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol, in other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Mm. Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then, we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. Was allerdings mehr als einen Tag dauert, denke ich mal. And solve this case once and for all. Well found, Mr. Von Karma. Mm. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Mm -hmm. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air, I'll, I'll stop you. Stop breathing my air. Get away. Get away. Get away from my father. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's that scream I heard in the elevator. 15 years ago. Von Karma! It was you who screamed. Mr. Von Karma. Only you would dare defy me. So it was you. You and your father are my curse. Your father shaved me with my with a penalty on my record, and you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. I'll bury you. I'll bury you with my bare hands. Death. Death. Jesus Christ, Junge. Fifteen years earlier. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you... It's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth. It was a shock like none I had ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out into the hall and fell, felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. Mm -hmm. I was in pain. A horrible burning pain on my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen depri deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then it was destiny. Mm -hmm. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. I was the perfect. It was the perfect crime. Ah, yeah. Who would have thought another man would have to come to open that elevator door? Judge. What? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring and bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Very well. <laughs> Zweimal am selben Tag. It appears that we have come to a long way to the end of this maze. Very long way. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, 
not guilty. Bring out the hounds. <laughs> Viel Spaß im Knast, Mr. von Karma. <laughs> that is all. This court is now adjourned. Oh, Mr. von Karma is raus. December 28th, 5.38 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 2. Nick, we did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed. I gotta say I'm impressed. Eh, it was pr pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had it. I know I was on the verge of tears the, the whole time myself, but now it's all just a good memory. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure how to say this. I know, I know. Try thank you. <laughs> I see. Thank you, right. You're welcome. I think you could have done better than that. <laughs> nah. Sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. She's got you there. Whoop! <laughs> Amazing, pal. You pulled through just like I thought you would. I never forget this. I owe you one, pal. Vielleicht indem wir sich an unseren Namen erinnern. Das wäre ein Anfang. And to and tonight's le tonight let's party. Dinner's on me. Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? <laughs> See, Mr. Edgeworth, you should take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Hmm. I see. Ahem. Whoop. <laughs> I feel foolish. <laughs> Don't worry, take it, a, take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. <laughs> it's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey, y'all. Oh, God. <laughs> Lada. Y'all were great in there. Thank you. Y'all, Edgeworth, congrats. Uh, uh, thank y'all very much. <laughs> I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Yeah, naturally. Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hands in the cookie jar even if when I w no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let bygones be got be got be bygones, right? Eh? <laughs> Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lotta? Oh, me? Uh, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be the investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Huh? Oh, God. Guns of Casas here. It's over, Nick. My life is over. <laughs> Why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick, I'm not long in this for this world. Uh, you don't look sick. It's Kianse. She's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick. Oh, God, show me that. <laughs> She's leaving me behind. Should have seen that coming. Yo, Edgy. There you are. Ah, uh, yes, here I am. Congrats, Edgy. Here, a little gift from me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Harry Butts, you come along... Along tonight, too. My treat, pal. Huh? Oh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Yo, yo, Nick. That's a suit that uh, questioned me. When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah. What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah. That's not that strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's 38, right? Huh. What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. 38, exactly. Nick, wasn't that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? Uh, God. <laughs> no. No, Larry, it was you. <laughs> what are you so surprised about, right? Huh. Larry was absent that day from school, right? But it doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day 15 years, there, years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. Then he saw the money laying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history, heh. <laughs> Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was, was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. As I know, as ich doch. Right. You may not know this, but we used to have be we have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know. Really right. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this sure is an unexpected turn of event turn of events, eh? Edgeworth. Hmm. 
You should have told me. Now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Don't you think the Statue of Limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> I'd say so, yes. There you have it. Ah. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, you have always been something of an insufferable emotionalist. Yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. Death. The death sentence for both of you. Man, if only I had known, I'd have become a pro... <laughs> I'd have become a prosecutor. Same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Naturally. Want to switch, right? Hey, y'all, line up. I'll take a photo. Hey, photo time. Let's go. And after that dinner, after that dinner on me. Das ist die vorletzte. Das klingt nach der letzten. Es, es, ja, es riecht nach der letzten Episode komischerweise. Also was? Hm? The Death of Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom, even though Edgeworth himself was still in detention. Weshalb? For what? Weshalb? December 29th, 5:2 a.m. Right in Co. Law Offices. Wird verdammt schwer, das Ending zu toppen allerdings. Wow. I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Ah, uh, it's still only five. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Hmm. What's this? A letter. Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. <laughs> Absolutely nicht. So I've decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Aww. Goodbye? What time is it? Gah! The first trains for the mountains are, have already left to the, to the station. <laughs> to the idiot, idiot mobile. I guess I'm too late. Hey! Nick! Maya! So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And, uh, I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? I wollte gerade sagen, hab ich eine Wahl, hallo? Wait! What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Allerdings, yeah. On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister. Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. Nah, 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 nah. But you were the one who'd stopped von Karma, Maya. Yup. I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in the daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? Yup. Show Maya some evidence to cheer her up. Easy. Bam. A bullet. Von Karma was conceived. He had taken all of the evidence pertaining to DL6, but you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the last... This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma, and you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. Ah, thanks. I'll be back soon. Huh. I'm going to complete my training and come back. Hopefully. Okay, I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run that office by yourself. You're hopeless. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. So, this is it. See you soon, Maya. Okay. Come back real soon. Thanks, Nick. Sicher, dass das die vorletzte Episode ist? And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page. And so, and say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that once was. And now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Mm -hmm. Ha! Don't think you have graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? 
Ah, uh, yes, your honor. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Ah. Well, I'm kinda... Kinda best off. Natürlich war es die letzte... Natürlich war es die letzte Episode. Meine lieben Freunde! Das war's dann anscheinend. Hey, pal! Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct to wish me a happy new year. Talk about a pleasant surprise. Whoop! Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> Then he hung his head low and went right back outside. <laughs> kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? Is that a suspect eventual? Hmm. <laughs> Gut zu sehen, dass er auch ein bisschen aus sich rauskommt, allerdings. <laughs> ah, the butts. Ah, oh, Nick, nah, I haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I've been working at a cheese shop. That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you would call a cheap date. Oh, she's in Hawaii right now, yeah. <laughs> Der Kollege lernt aber auch echt absolut gar nicht. Meine Fräse. Aber gut zu sehen, dass wir auch noch mal sehen, was letzten Endes uh, passiert, oder was letzten Endes mit den anderen, mit den Leuten hier passiert. Ja, gerade mit ihm. Who, right? Yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of thought that taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. <laughs> Ja, absolut, mein Freund. Direkt nass gemacht. Ohne Probleme, wohlgemerkt. Glaube ich. Vielleicht auch nicht. In der ersten, Im allerersten Trial, den wir hatten. Können wir noch alles hatten. Ah, ja, natürlich. The Bellboy. Phoenix Wright. Hm. Ah, the defense attorney from whom I wrote that ad 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 for. Yes. Oh, you should know. I've taken over management of the Get Gotaway Hotel race recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. Aber gerne doch. Gerne doch, Mr. Bellboy. <lacht> If that is your name. Hmm. Ah, Mr. Grossberg. Ahem. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Phoenix Wright. Ah, yes. Mia's understudy, was he not? I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen, seen him of late. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? <laughs> A fresh lemon party, Mr. Grossberg, huh? <laughs> okay, we had man noch. Dürfen gar nicht mehr so viele sein. Ah, natürlich. Phoenix Wright. Is he an actor? <laughs> well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know that they're on the DVD? Not that I know it, but it is everything those day. Good. <laughs> Alles klar. Immer noch die alte. Immer noch die old bag. <laughs> oh, haben wir noch den? Ja, natürlich. Genau ihn. Will Powers. I'm pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I sure owe that Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, I'm keeping face of the part out of the public eyes till the show's over. I won't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know. Du meinst den Traum, dass du in dem Fall wirklich keine Frau bist? Aber nein, wird okay. <lacht> Warum er hat alle Dinge? Naja. Der mal, wer auch immer das entschieden hat, dass er die Hauptrolle spielt, hat nicht mehr alle Latten am Zaun, so viel ist klar. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. It sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I, w I wanted a visit, but I didn't have time, so I sent her some Pink Princess trading cards. She says she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? <laughs> Zumindest wurde das Merchandising in dem Fall auch weiterhin noch... Weiterhin... Was ist das Wort? Ihr wisst, was ich meine. Right, who's that? You wanna talk? Let's talk Pink, Pink Princess, alright. But, you know... I snuck into the studio the other day. That needs to learn. And I saw her, the one inside the pink princess suit. Uh, what a dog. It was kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. Du meinst der selber, der den Pink Samurai gespielt hat? Normalerweise müsstest du stolz sein, vielleicht auf eine verschobene Art und Weise. Dass er seinen Touch nicht verloren hat. Yeah, I remember right, that lawyer guy. Ah, uh, me? I've been training to become a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there is a ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah? For real? Now that's talent. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna get a medal for this. Zeig mir mal, zeig, zeig mir mal das Bild. Das würde mich auf jeden Fall mal interessieren, wo dieser Geist letzten Endes sein soll. Ah, okay. <laughs> Macht Sinn, ich mir eigentlich denken sollen. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Gumshoe ist derjenige, der immer die, das Konfetti dann letzten Endes runterregnen lässt. Hät, das, hätten wir dieses Mystery ebenfalls auch gesolved, was? Oh! A brand new episode has been added. 
Ooh. Nice call game. Nice call. Ist es jetzt während äh, Maya noch im Training ist oder schon danach? Schauen wir mal rein. Lassen wir uns überraschen.